Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here in the NZXT workshop, and in the last video, we built this. This is uh, basically an attempt at rebuilding a real PC builder, a system integrator's PC. So this is from the system integrator Chill Blast, and this is their PC, the Dreadnought. And so uh, you can see it's in the Cooler Master Cosmos C700P, and it's a complete beast, 9900X, couple of 2080 Ti's, if I remember right. Yep, 2080 Ti's, pretty top end, got a Rampage Extreme motherboard, whole deal. Uh, if that's interesting, go ahead and check out the last video. It was pretty fun to do, trying to rebuild an actual PC in a PC building simulator. All right, so we've got another build coming up today, but before we get to that, it's been a little while since we showed off some of your guys' build, and so that's what we're going to do right now, starting with a build from Justin Maylett. And this one is called RGB, and I think you can tell why. Uh, it is R, it is G, it is B, it is red, it's green, it's blue, and it's kind of everywhere, all trending everywhere. Even, in even including the cables are RGB. Uh, we've got an RGB power supply from Thermaltake, they're 1200 watt. It's all inside of the GamerStorm Genome ROG certified case. And we've got lots of Corsairs RGB fans there. You can see we've got Trident Z. RGB RAM, and it's uh, kind of spaced out in its RGB coloring there. We've got a green bridge on the graphics cards, one of the graphics cards being red, one of them being blue, the bridge there green. Uh, it's a mix of RGB everywhere, and it's a pretty interesting build. We've got this, this is an 8700K, we've got two RTX 2080 Supers from ASUS, 32 gigs of that Triton Z RGB RAM, and three of HyperX's. Trend Z, or excuse, HyperX's uh, 960 gig SSDs. I'm not exactly sure where they're at. They might be around back. Yeah, okay, so we've got. Okay, so what? Two. Wait, how does this work? Two are around back. Where is the third one? Where does it live? I don't actually have any idea where it, where it lives in this case. Wow. Uh, but you can see two of them are on the back. I assume the last one's somewhere, and it's probably blue because the two around back are red and green. Uh, you can also see, we, you can just see a little bit of the RGB peeking out from the RGB power supply, which is pretty funny. Uh, and if you're curious, total price on this build, $4,680, and that one's from Justin Maylett. Thanks for sending that one in. That is the truly RGB PC. Moving on. The next one is from Wierenski94, who uh, is super helpful. Uh, working with my Discord, so thank you so much for helping out. And if you're not in my Discord already, hop in there and you can submit your own PC build just like this. There's instructions down below for how to do that. But for Wierenski's build is in the NZXT H510 Elite. This is the black and white version. We've got a Strix X470F gaming motherboard, a 3800X for the CPU, so Ryzen 7 3800X. The cooler is a Arctic Freezer 33 Esports Edition, so you can really see the black and white theme here. It almost looked like it was in like like black and white, like like the picture was in black and white, other than the purple on the table. It kind of is weird, but yeah, it's such a pure black and white here, almost like grayscale looking. Uh, but pretty nice look here. Uh, power supply is a 850X from Corsair. We've got some Gigabyte Aorus RGB RAM there with the LEDs lit up white. And uh, the graphics card is a 1070 Ti, which is one of the few cards you can get that really fits well in a black and white build. And then as far as fans go, you can see we kind of left, left the uh, NZXT case fans in there, which looks super nice with the H510, uh, H510 Elite. And uh, let's hard drive, is, got, a, got a two terabyte traditional hard drive, a one gigabyte SSD from gigabyte, one terabyte. Gosh, one terabyte SSD from Gigabyte. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Are they going to change their name to Terabyte? Stupid, bad joke. Um, you can see that right up front there, though, on, on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, all over a really nice, clean-looking black and white PC inside of the NZXT H510 Elite Black and White Edition. Thanks for sending that one in, Wierenski. And our last one is from Yeet, Y-E-E, -E, capital T. And this is called the Star Wars themed split loop i9 2x2080 Ti build. So, uh, big thing here, Star Wars themed. I think you see it. And we know it's got an i9, it's got, it's got a 9900K, and two water cooled 2080 Ti's. So, yeah, you can see the, 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 uh, the Jedi 
versus the Empire here with the red and blue loops. We've got a CPU loop for uh, that, that's in blue there, and then we've got a red loop on the graphics cards and alternating blue and red fans. As far as the specs go, it's obviously inside the Eurasian Tech Enyo. The motherboard is an ASRock Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate. The CPU is a 9900K. We've got a power supply from Corsair, their AX1600i. And the RAM is 8 gigs, 8 gig sticks of Triton Z RGB. They're 4800 megahertz uh, sticks there. And we've got a couple of those huge reservoirs from AlphaCool. Super tall boys. And a bunch of EKs. 360 rads. I'm assuming there's probably five rads on this. I can see some plumbing going through the back plate there to get around back. Uh, yeah. But I really like the theme here, the Star Wars theme and kind of the contrast of good and evil with the wallpaper. Super nice job. Thanks for sending that one in, Yeet. And, uh, alright. I think we're going to move on. Also, yeah, I guess I mentioned it earlier, but if you want to submit your build to potentially be featured, Go ahead and check out the instructions down below to join my Discord to submit your build there, and you might feature it in a video like this one. Thanks so much, everybody, for sending those in. It's really fun to see what you guys do, and it's like, it's honestly like inspiration for stuff I do. Sometimes, like, I think my stuff's cool, and I look at yours, and I'm like, dang, that's so much cooler than mine. So, it's really fun to see those. Okay, but on to mine. This actually comes from a comment, a request I've been getting from Esteban Suarez, who... You can tell. Esteban Suarez, thank you for subscribing. Now you can see public people who publicly subscribe to you inside the comments. That's fun. So thanks for subscribing, Esteban. You should be like Esteban and subscribe too if you've enjoyed any of this content. But anyway, back to Esteban's comment. He's been asking to for me to make a Be Quiet PC themed with black and orange. And that's what we're going to do today inside of the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Revision 2. I don't know what the Revision 1 was like. I don't think there's a Revision 1 in this game. This is a full tower. You can see the Cosmos C700P is also a full tower. These are big cases. Very, very large. But this is going to be a fun one. I, th I wanted to kind of do an ultimate, be quiet, black and orange theme build. A good idea here from uh, Esteban. Appreciate the idea. So, we're going to go ahead and kind of pull this apart. We are going to do water cooling on this. We're going to try to really get that black and orange theme nailed and uh, see what we can we can come out with. I'm kind of thinking Threadripper on this one, because uh, it's fun. Okay, so we've got the back panel off. We've got the front panel swings open. We can remove our dust filter. I'm going to remove these case fans. I know they are be quiet. They fit very well. I'm going to leave the back one, because um, we're going to replace up front, though. We're going to put some water cooling up there. I'm going to take out some of these hard drive bays. There are so many hard drive bay options with this. So, like, we had the three installed. Uh, we can install even more. We can release some of the beauty panels and put those in. We can put this big double drive bay up here once you remove this. There's all these options. There's another one here. You can put a lot of hard drives in this case. Uh, hooking them all up to a motherboard could be challenging if, if it has, you know, if it is like it has been with other builds I've done in this game. But uh, the case can handle a lot. So, let's start with a motherboard. Black and orange. Black and orange is our theme. Let's look at some TR4 boards to see what we have for Threadripper. Rippy, rippy, rip, rip. You know what? I have never used this MSI board. Ugh. My gigabytes. It's so, so much illumination. I've never used theirs, though. I kind of want to use it. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Never, I've never tried this MSI before. I've used it. I've used, I think, everything else. Dude, that actually looks pretty good. Man, that has got just M.2 slots. Just right there, right? That's what those are. I'm pretty sure. Oh, dude, you know what's cool, too, about this board? They don't have heat sinks, which means I could put some of these boys on, these copper guys, and that'll actually give us a little bit of a glint of orange if we wanted it. We could also do RGB. But there's something about the copper ones. And they're also absurdly fast. Yeah, I kind of get it. I mean, it's not like orange orange, but I kind of like it. And good grief. We are at six terabytes of NVMe storage, just like that. Wham bam, there it is. Obviously, you can do more in other builds, like when they have the dim.2 slot, but still, that is pretty beefy. All right. 
Let's only look at compatible. We're gonna at least go second gen. We could do 2990 WX, 32 core, 24 core, 16 core, 12 core. I mean, when you're in, it's like when you're in free build and nothing costs money anyway, it's like, sure, I'll do an $1,100 processor. What do I care, right? Thermal paste, it's on. RTX, it's on. Um, cool, so if you, wow, water cooling. How, how does this game, it's been, it's been too long. Black, orange, what's the correct balance between black and orange? I'm kind of feeling black here. I don't want to scream too much RGB because orange is hard to do. It's really hard to do without being like just bright and obnoxious, where Be Quiet has this really nice dark orange color. It's going to be hard to represent through RGB, so I'm going to be a little more cautious with how we do that one. Um, yeah, I'm almost leaning towards like trying to not even do RGB now that I think about it. Because like the rads, the rads are all going to be, we're going to do the Be Quiet rad. Well, we're going to do the Alpha Cool rads with Be Quiet fans. You got it. Um, can we get a 280? What is that? What is in the way? Uh, this? Yeah. Beauty panel? Can we do a 280? Oh, yes. That's sick. So we can do a 280 up front. We obviously can't do a 360. We've got this other stuff going on up here with like optional drive bay or optional like, I don't mean expansion slots or whatever this is. Interesting. Um, Dude, that is some tight tolerance there. What do I have? Like a millimeter. Wow. Glad it fits. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, not sure how amazing the cooling would be. Wow. Am I clipping through this drive cage? How is this fitting? I'm going to remove that because that doesn't even make sense. I'm surprised it let me do that. Uh, well, anyway. We'll do that. We're going to do a 360 Alpha Cool Rad with Be Quiet fans up top. Nice. Should have enough room there to run those tubes out. Oh man, how's our reservoir gonna fit? That is a question. And which reservoir to use? Uh, okay, we just got a couple. Scared me. <sighs> you scared me. I'm surprised they won't let me use the big reservoirs and like mount down here. Like the mounting mechanism is no different. I could easily just slide down and then do a big tall boy. But apparently no, I don't get to do it. Is that, is that the tallest black? Wait, what? I thought I, I, thought I, I thought I chose that one. Did I not choose that one? That one's a little short guy. Okay, better. Okay, interesting. It's a weird mounting mechanism. Like it's not even going through any holes. Look, see? Like how is this attached? understand all right so that's at least like our water cooling structure in place let's get some memory going um yikes what to do here i would love if we could get some more memory options this game we have not had new memory added in a while i might go try and z rgb in black and i may just not use the rgb if i think it looks cheesy I would love, you know, ideal world, some like perfectly color matched orange dims of RAM, which just isn't gonna happen. We could do HyperX too. We never use their RAM. That could be fun. That could be fun. It's not RGB. No. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do HyperX. I mean, I've not really used their memory, maybe ever. And they go all the way up to 4,000 megahertz, so. There we go. How's that look? Yeah, that'll be cool. It'll look good, lit up, or not. So, that'll be all right. I'm just, yeah, I'm a little nervous about matching orange. RGB is just hard to to get right in this, in this game. It just usually looks like obnoxiously bright. And the orange that Be Quiet uses on their product is not bright. It's not obnoxious, it's, it's elegant. It's smooth. It looks like a it looks like a baked pumpkin. It's sophisticated. Or, or something. Uh, alright. How we how how are how are things going? We've got a dust filter on the bottom. Okay, so can we throw a power supply? How's a power supply even get in? Oh, up through here? Probably? 
Oh, maybe not. That's a drive bay. That's a, that's a two and a half inch drive bay? What? This is such an interesting case. Okay, I don't know if I'm able to get a power supply in this like this or how this works. Watch, it'll tell me I have to take the motherboard out and I'll cry. Ooh. I mean, that wouldn't be that big a deal. It'd be kind of annoying, though. Okay, uh, power supply, who really cares? Who really cares, to be honest? It just... It just don't matter that much. But here I am, taking a long time to pick one. I just want reasonably high wattage. I'm not gonna do an RGB one, it's just, it's silly. It's silly. Okay, 850 watt from Gigabyte, done. Okay, I don't know how we just magically plop that in there. Like, how am I getting that power supply in this case? Cause it's not fitting through there. It's not fitting through there. Like, obviously it's too big. How did we put that in? It's funny how like sometimes this game is like, no, you can't do that. And then sometimes it's like, that's fine. You Physics don't matter. Physics are a lie. It's just, it's interesting. You, you never know what you're gonna get. Can I put that back? Okay, we'll put that. I don't really feel like we're gonna need the bottom ventilation. We're just gonna keep it clean looking. Um, here, okay. And this one? Yeah, that was, okay. Nice. So we're, we're beautified again. Beauty panels installed. We're beautiful. Okay. Uh, looking pretty good here. Let's finish up our water cooling with some water cooled graphics cards. Black and orange. Black, black, and orange. Um, yeah, dude. That's what I'm feeling. I love how I always do that wrong. Is it this one? This one? Yeah. I'm really glad they added these alpha cards to give us just like a really simple. Oh, I just need this to be orange and not blue. Was the backplate always like this? I don't remember the backplates looking like. Did they change that? Or am I just crazy? I'm pretty sure they didn't say Alpha Gold before. Why is that the bridge? Why does that have to be the bridge? Your silver is affecting me negatively. Ooh. Maybe? Now I'm like, man, maybe we should be air cooling. There's some of those. I don't know where that comes from. Okay. Maybe we should air cool, because we might find a better graphics card option here. Oh, this one's so sick. Dude, I love the Kingpin Edition 10 ATI. It's so sweet. It feels wrong to put a 10 ATI in this build, but they are sick. 20 Supers from Strix are also a really good choice. We just saw them in uh, one of the builds I, f I showed here earlier, and it's nice because you get... What? What? Oh, yeah, that's a crazy MV Link bridge. But, yeah, I just feel like that fits my theme better. Man, those things are chunk-tastic. Those are, like, two and a half slots. Chunky. Holy moly. But I think that this is going to look a lot better. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with that. That is so chunky. It is hilarious. It's, like, two, like, spaceships. Uh, okay, anyway, anyway, we're just so we're just gonna do a CPU loop here. Lots of cooling for our 2990 WX, which is actually probably probably fairly really fairly good and normal and great. Okay, so we've got everything. We just need to do some cabling. I would like to get orange cables in here if it's the right orange. And that actually, I appreciate that that's more toned down. That's not bad. I will go with that. It's a, just a little bit brown, but it's still so much better than it could have been. I thought it was going to be like obnoxious macaroni and cheese. Ew. Oh, uh, well, that might be it, though. That might be our orange. I'm guessing that's not going to look any different, but let's... Sleeve braided plain orange. Okay. It's very chunky. Uh, do I like that better? The braided cables are so interesting in this game. It's like all just in like one little noodle. Okay. Oh, we gotta connect. Oh. Oh, wow. So the power supply does not... Okay, you're not hooking directly into it. So you connect the power supply out to this. Fascinating. That's different. You see that a lot of times in like small form factor cases, but generally in big cases like this, you just butt the power supply up to the back of the case and you plug straight in. A little different in this one. That's kind of... Okay, um, 
So yeah, cool. Things are good. We just need to do our water cooling before we overheat. And uh, all right, cool. Let's do that for this. Yeah. We're not going to get orange. We're going to go clear. We're going to go my favorite black fittings because they're good. And then we're going to hopefully find a coolant that will be reasonable and not obnoxious. That's not always super easy, but we're going to try for it. Okay, so loop order, we're going to go, I think, front rad to reservoir. We'll go front rad. This, so this will this, this top rad will feed to front rad, then we'll go back to the reservoir. Reservoir out to CPU, out CPU, back to top reservoir. No GPUs to do. A little bit simpler. Um, yeah, should be good. Okay, so it should be, yeah, that's our in, right? I think, yeah, that's our in. Okay, cool. Wow, it did not do a very good job bending. Oh, it's because I'm not even on. <laughs> no route for flexible pipe. It's like, did you even try? I didn't want flexible pipe, but uh, very strange. Clear, rigid. It's funny how it just couldn't make that routing happen. Because it's like, all I'm going to do is just pull it out like that. And then, presto blammo, everybody's happy. But game couldn't seem to make it happen. Okay, go here, go in our CPU. How do we want this to look? Wow, this is a big case. Uh, having to kind of like maneuver around it here. We're not gonna even like try to get that close. Strange. All about them 90s. Just think they look the best. Still, still I feel this way. Um, that looks wrong. Yes, that's because it is wrong. Okay, what is occurring right now? Yeah. Okay, yes, good, great, wonderful. Hey, all right, out of our CPU into... I think it'll be cleaner if we go rad to rad because those are lined up, so we'll come up here. Oops, what did, what did I done? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tight, but we'll be okay. Okay, that gets us everything in line that way. We'll go like this, eh. No. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Yeah. And do 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 do. Okay, I'm just gonna hug this one. Top. That look. It's pretty clean. Yeah, I'm into that. Okay, we should have enough room to pull this off without too much drama. Yeah. Yay! That looks hilarious. Ah, oh, it does kind of. I've made things slightly more obnoxious, but that's not too bad. It's just I gotta, I gotta hang a little low because I will run to the pipe I just did. I want to get close to it. That's pretty good. And we got the angle there, but I gotta get it out. So that's pretty good, I think. That'll look pretty nice. All right, let's do our coolant. Cross your fingers that the coolant looks okay and not terrible. Orange clear UV, orange opaque UV. Uh, we could really just probably search for one. Okay, we've got two options. Orange opaque, orange clear. I guess I'm gonna do opaque. Clear looks like it's gonna be bright, and I don't wanna be too bright. That looks pretty good. Wow. That is really close to Be Quiet's color. Closer than the cables, which are looking tanner by the minute. Cool. Okay, so we're not going to have, we're going to do a little bit of RGB potentially, but it's not going to be much. I think it's going to be pretty classy. It's going to be a nice black and orange theme. That's my hope. We're going to put our dust filter back in the front. We can close up the front panel. I'm trying to think whether pieces need to go back together. Top panel, is there a filter up there? I can't remember. So many drive bays. So many beauty panels. Top panel. Okay. Oh, I see the filtrations on the sides. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Um, 
I guess we can see if we can put any of these back beauty panels back in. There's one. Beautify. We're beautifying. That might be it. That looks like most likely it. Might have room for one at the top. Hey, cool. Actually, I this does not matter, but I think you can yeah, you can plop one back there. For whatever it's worth. I mean you wouldn't you wouldn't see it. We can't do anything with the other ones, though, right? Yeah, okay, cool. That's cool. Alright. Put our back side panel on and dude, that's a pretty good black and orange theme, I think. Me thinks. Alright, let's get an OS installed, we'll get some programs installed, and then we'll take a look at RGB, because this red just ain't working for me. But I think actually this is gonna end up being pretty darn nice. So get everything installed here, ran a quick time spy extreme test. Score of 18,381, that's a 20,669 on the graphics, and an 11,296 on the CPU, that's all stock and what's not. Uh, also did some OCGT here, we got an infinite test running right now, max of a little under 68C on the GPUs, and uh, 66C on the CPU, so pretty good. All right. Let's look at our RGB. Yeah, you can see we've installed the lighting app, and so now we've got rainbow going on with the RAM. We're not gonna leave that. We're going to go orange. Oh, so the case has some slight lighting somewhere. It's white. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Aha! You can see it on the strip there. That's fun. I almost feel like I don't want to touch that. Let's not touch that right now. Don't touch it. Okay, orange. Now, what I want to remind myself about this orange is, wow, that actually is not terrible for a first go. We are going to, you know, put the side panel back on, which has a tinting to it, so, wow, that's not, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. I really like, I'm really glad I went with the Asus graphics cards. Their NVLink link bridge is so cool looking, too. Gosh, that's sick. Ooh, I don't even know. How, how much do I want to touch that? 23842. I'm trying to think if I want to go brighter or darker. That seems very similar. Max. Yeah, this is barely changing. Dang, that looks pretty good. I think I might just leave it there. There it is. Uh, a black and orange themed... Be Quiet PC built in the Dark Base Pro 900 Rev 2. Two 2080 Ti's air cooled versions from ASUS, a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX, uh, all on top of MSI's X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC, their Threadripper board, obviously, a bunch of HyperX's RAM, and uh, some other bits to make it all work, and the full water cooling loop on the CPU. Pretty nice, pretty fun build. And uh, comes in at a cool $7,578, but that is an absolute monster of a computer. So, there you go. Thanks for the idea, Esteban Suarez. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. But either way, thanks so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. See ya.